No. As you can see, there's lots of nice pictures in this. Lots of them. Have a look. You'll see them. Be patient. Mm. Mm. Well, um, what's wrong with my... How do I go full screen? No, it's like the bar has disappeared up the top. F1, F2, F3. is it? No, I will fix it by closing it and opening it again. I have a new one. Uh, be nice to me, please. Uh, okay. Here we go again. Now time is loads of time. <coughs> loads. Because it's really a simple topic. What? No, 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 that's a different partition. Loading? I am actually. It's not, look. <laughs> You're broken. Right. <laughs> no. uh, conservation of energy. Did you write that down? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. It's electricity. The power cables. You see them outside for the homes. Uh, right. So we know this word in English. I hope energy. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I know. You okay? Mm. Just ten more minutes. Okay. What does this word mean? Energy. Power. Power is energy. Mm. It's not quite power. Uh, power is different. Uh, like you said, I'm an energy. Energetic? Yeah. So what does that mean here? How much you have power. Mm -hmm. It's active. Mm -hmm. How much yeah. Energy. How much you have No. Mm -hmm. No. If something has energy, what do we mean? Mm -hmm. So, huh? Mm -hmm. What? Glucose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. no, you English, I don't understand. What? Glucose. Go to biology class. <laughs> don't be talking about glucose or sugar. Um, if something has energy, we think about it as being able to do something. So. We say that um, if something has energy, then it can do work. That's the physics definition. So to have energy or to be energy means you can do work. Okay, so please note this definition. In physics, something has or is energy if it can do work. So you can all do work. Most of the time. So this means you all have energy. And the more work you can do, the more energy you have. And if you can do no work, then you have no energy and are probably dead. <laughs> okay? So, are, well, even if you're asleep, you're still doing work actually. No sleeping. Sleepy, yes. Yeah. So, can you see energy and work, they kind of go together. Yeah. Alright? Um, we also use jewels for energy. Okay. Uh, so, let me make it very clear. No work. No, no energy. No energy, no. no work. And the work you can do must be less than how much energy you have. So 
So look, I, I think about this as being like uh, money in the bank. Okay? So when you spend money, that is work. And how much money you have in the bank, that's the energy. Can you do more work than the energy? No. No, you need a lot. Yeah? And so the work you do is less than or equal to how much energy you have. Uh, yeah, we could do this. But you know it's true. So you can top up how much energy you have. Uh, by sleeping, by eating, yes. By getting along. Alright. So, no work, no energy, no energy, no work. Work done is less than how much energy you have. So, for example, if I have one megajoule of energy, then I can do up to one megajoule of work. No. For a lot of problems in physics, all of the energy is used to do work. So actually for most of our problems, energy and work are the same thing. So it's a bit like in my bank example, uh, when you go to the shop, you spend all the money in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> True, who does that? Uh, do you get what I'm saying? That for most of our physics problems, the amount of energy you have gets all used up in doing work. So usually work and energy are the same calculation in the question. Okay. What about the example with the woman pushing the box? Uh, After she pushes the box, does she still have more energy to do more work? Less, less energy. Yeah, she has less energy, but there's still some left, so she can do more work. Yeah. She's not dead. After pushing the box. So yeah. she, gets back to, like, renew her energy. she could renew her energy as well, yes. Yeah. Which is something we'll look at later now. Okay, there are many types of energy, so I want you to write all these names down, okay? So types of energy. So there are many different things that can do work. Yeah, so we're gonna have a look at them, alright? So the first one. Okay. Hold on tight. The first one I'll have a look at. Yeah. <laughs> Electrical energy. Should we write it down? No. Well, thank you. Uh, just write down the name. Electrical energy. So you know that uh, this here, there's energy in here because if I connect this to like the TV or whatever, it can do work. Yeah. So there's electrical energy in here. You can do work from this. So that's the first type. Second type is magnetic energy. So I have a picture here like it's a junkyard. So the magnet, what is the magnet doing? It's lifting yeah. the metal. So it's doing work like the father lifting the child. The magnet is lifting the metal. It's doing work also. So it has energy because it can do work. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so that's magnetic energy. The next one is the most delicious, uh, chemical energy. The one you're thinking about right now since it's coming up to one o'clock. <laughs> chemical energy. So this is the energy you get uh, when you break chemical bonds, which you learned about in chemistry. So you know when you break bonds, you release energy. Yeah. So that's what happens when you eat food, the bonds are broken and you get the energy. From an energy course, yeah? <laughs> but we won't talk much about that. So chemical energy. Next. This is energy from light, radiation. So light from the sun uh, provides energy. Provides energy for plants. And us, yes, true, yeah. Ah, did you? All right. Radiant energy. Huh? Yes. Okay. 
Did you get the other names? Mm. Did you get this name? Yeah. And this one and this one? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right, can I go to the next one? Yeah. Yeah. Right, next one, nuclear energy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. From the atoms, yeah. Nuclear. Nuclear weapons. Yes, true. Which does a lot of work. <laughs> So work doesn't have to be something good, it can be something bad as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you have this? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of advantages for it. There is, and disadvantages too. Yeah, of course. Okay, next one is from chemistry again, uh, ionization energy. Yeah. Have you done ionization in chemistry? Yeah, we don't Huh? You've mentioned it, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So when the electron is trapped, it needs energy to be freed. In fact, when the electron is trapped, and if you free it, you know, that's releasing, uh, you're putting energy into it. In other words, it's a bit like, um, it's a bit like a chemical bond. You know, when you break the bond, you get energy here. Something like, uh, yeah. you know, Mass spectrometer, you know, I have a chamber, you Yeah, this is related to mass spectrometer, yeah. The, um, the only difference here, hey, the only difference here is when you break bonds, you get energy. Whereas in this example here, um, when you free the electron, you need to give it energy. But anyway, this is something we'll look at in semester two. I just need to give you the names right now. Right, elastic energy. This is green shot. Yes, I said it, but it's elastic. Elastic is um, stretchy. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's just part. You know this function? Yeah. Yeah. So this is elastic energy. The energy in elastic material. Like springs, things like this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next. The next one is energy due to gravity, due to the sun, the planets. Gravity is what's pulling you down. So there's gravitational energy. Because think about this, look. If I let this go, it will fall, true? So there is a force, and also there is a distance. So there is work. So there's gravitational energy. Gravity has the ability to do work. Yep. Okay. So gravity has the ability to do work as well. Uh, heat energy, of course. So we we definitely need it in Ireland. Yeah. Okay. Heat energy. Uh, mechanical energy. <gasps> Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Mechanical energy? Okay. Wave energy? So nice. Good job. But um, you're doing the translation? Okay. Next one? The next one is kinetic energy. And this is the energy uh, by movement. That's what kinetic and potential mechanical energy. Yeah, it depends on the classified thing. So in my, I was trying to hope that the pictures would help. So by mechanical, I mean literally something like this. So the energy in a machine, maybe because you wind it up or something like this. But you're right, you can say kinetic and potential are mechanical energy. It gets complicated because then potential has different meanings, so I'm just trying to keep it simple right now. Kinetic energy is the energy due to uh, movement. Okay. So for example, uh, suppose I want to break this. I can drop it. True. Also, if I want to break it, I could just leave it here, and then something that's moving really fast could hit it. 
And this would also break it. It would also give it a force. Yeah? Uh, so what I'm saying is something that's moving fast also has energy because it can do work. Because, you know, if a bullet hits you, it'll, you will feel the force. Yeah? <laughs> Does that mean when I move on, I get energy? No, I, you, well, you use it. You're using your, your transport. We'll get to that in a moment, yes. I'll have to that in a moment. And this is potential energy. So this is, uh, this rock here can nearly hurt him. Uh, this has energy because if I, if it falls, it can do work. Yeah. It can give him a force. So potential means like, uh, could do work. It's stored inside of it. Um, but you might say, well, isn't this the same as gravity, oh, yeah. gravitational energy? And it is. So it's just like the gravity one. Potential energy. Okay. So, it does, yeah, because uh, a small tap would set it in motion to break it. Yeah. No potential. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah it will have kinetic as it's falling. Yes. Okay. Which one is there? Sorry. Yeah? Which one is this? Do I get one? No, it's not like this. They're all equally the same. Oh. Huh? They are. I mean, one joule of kinetic is the same as one joule of potential. Right, this is very, very important, and this answers your question in a moment. This. Now, I'll say this very clearly and very simply. This is the most important idea in physics. And that is so important, I'll say it twice. This is the most important idea in physics. All physics. All physics. This one sentence here. You got, I'm going to show you there. The conservation of energy, what is that? That says that uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it just changes from one type to another type. So you cannot actually make energy. You cannot destroy energy. You cannot make energy. So like I said, the most important idea in physics. From one form to another. From one form to another. I'll explain what it means now once you write it down. Can I go on now? Yeah. Alright, so let me explain this. This is the last thing we're doing, okay? So just listen carefully. Um, when I lift this, I've done work. True? Yeah. So there's some work here. Uh, so some of my energy uh, was used to do this work, right? So what type of energy is inside of me right now? What energy do I have in me? What type of energy? In the list, look at the name I gave you. What type of energy is inside of me? Chemical energy. Chemical energy mostly, yeah? yeah. Maybe. Now, please listen. I did not make this chemical energy. I just got it from something else. So where did I get my chemical energy from? Oh. From food. Now think about it. The food did not make this energy. The food got this energy from somewhere else. Where is the food? So let's say, for example, for breakfast, I had, uh, I don't know, some sausages. Okay? So, uh, what animals? Yeah. We'll say pig or chicken if you want to be allowed. Okay? <laughs> so you have your animal for breakfast, you got chemical energy. Where did this animal get its energy from? Right. From plants, for example. 
Yeah. Uh, where did the plants get their energy from? Yeah. From the sun. Do you see what I'm saying? That you don't make energy. You just take it from something else. Okay? Um, so, we'll just finish with this example here. This is the one question. So when you sit up and then sit down, you've done some work. Where does this energy come from? Okay, okay so let's... Right. So I want you to tell me, when I stand up, what type of energy is this? Movement. Movement. What's the movement one? Kinetic. Kinetic. Okay, so this kinetic energy came from my legs. It came from chemical energy. Chemical energy came from the food I had. The sweet I just ate. The sweet got its energy from the sugar. The sugar got its energy from the sun. Yeah. And you just keep going backwards. So you don't ever make energy. So for example, one more example, and then we'll finish. What kind of energy is this? Uh, it's electrical. Are we listening? Yeah. Electrical. Where does this electrical energy come from? Yeah, so in Ireland it probably came from a coal plant, burning coal. Okay. So where did the coal get its energy from? Mm. Now where? Uh, coal. You know coal? Yeah. Small black rocks? Yeah. Coal? Uh, coal and oil and gas and coal? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So where did the coal get its energy from? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dinosaur. Yeah, coal is just dead animals, like dinosaurs. <laughs> so where did they get their energy from? Even other dinosaurs, yeah. which maybe ate some plants, which got its energy from the sun. So I hope you can see that all of our energy basically comes from the sun. Yeah. You know, you can follow it back to the sun. Oh, yeah, this is something I want you to think about. <laughs> so how far backwards can you go? <laughs> so you get all the energy from the sun. Where does the sun get its energy from? <laughs> and then, yeah, where does that energy come from? So the question is, how far back can you go? How much you can go? Hydrofusion. Yeah, that's right, but then you can only go back another step. So if you can't make... So this is what I want you to think about as we finish. If you can't make energy, if you can only take energy from something else, then where did all the energy come from? Mm. Ah, so think about that. This is the point. Mm. Yeah? So how do you think about that? If you can't make energy and you can only take it from something, mm -hmm. then where did it all come from? Where does something come from? Exactly. So just think about that, okay? And we'll finish on that.